George Henderson here from Precure, and I want to talk about a letter in um, The Listener explaining high blood pressure. This is myself, um, Grant Schofield, and Catherine Crofts. And we're just pointing out, there was an article in The Listener last week calling out the silent killer, and it made the claim that 95% of cases of hypertension are unexplained. So it's a mystery, and this is called essential hypertension. Um, but it's really been known for a long time that um, hypertension is part of the metabolic syndrome. The metabolic syndrome is pretty common, and um, there is a mechanism by which hyperinsulinemia, so having you know, too strong an insulin response to meals because you're a bit insulin resistant, is um, drives hypertension. And this is simply that the part of your kidney that excretes sodium, that gets rid of the, you know, the sodium in your body, and which takes fluid with it, um, is um, insulin dependent. And a high insulin level causes the kidney to reabsorb the sodium, put it back into your blood. And when it does this, it has to dilute it with more water. That puts more water into your blood. And this increase in fluid volume is what causes high blood pressure. Now, when people talk about low carb diets, skeptics often go, oh, you lose weight easily, but it's just water weight. Well, that's your high blood pressure. That's the thing that's keeping your blood pressure up. You know, you want to lose, if you have high blood pressure, lose water weight. That's it, you know. And um, so we cited a few, um, we cited um, David Unwin's research in Britain because he's been successfully treating people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and type 2 diabetes with low-carb diets. And one of the things he's found is a decrease, often quite quickly, a decrease in blood pressure, people coming off their blood pressure meds, and again, if you're skeptical, you might say, well, we know that you know, weight loss, major weight loss will call, you know, reduce blood pressure. You know, there's even a formula for working out how much blood pressure will go down when you lose a certain amount of weight. But he points out that he has patients that aren't overweight. He has a patient with a BMI of 22.1, whose blood pressure fell from 142 over 94 when they were on medication, so they're taking medication to get it that low, and now it's on 132 over 75 with no medication, um, all they lost was 2 kgs, that water weight, that, that initial weight loss, and, um, and they've been fine for three years now. So we have an explanation, I think, for, for much, perhaps most, of this unexplained hypertension, and it really is about having too much insulin after meals. Um, low carb is a good way, going keto is a very good way to reduce this. There are other ways, like um, you know, calorie restriction, as I said, Weight loss will, will probably do it eventually, but really um, the fact that keto does it quickly is kind of a showing you what's going on. It's showing you what the mechanism is that keeps your blood pressure high.